so in this uh, crime series we have been looking at uh, different uh, things unsolved mysteries uh, escapisms and execution types and other uh, punishments and all so another uh, in this crime genre let us see the top 10 unsolved murders the number 10 oscar romero oscar romero was a well known uh, archive shop uh, servicing the Catholic Church in El Salvador during the very turbulent times. Serving during the 1960s and 1970s, he was a very outspoken proponent concerning human rights and the horrific conditions faced by the poor during the country's blood and vicious civil war. Presiding over his flock left him an open target and after speaking out and encouraging civil disobedience, in particular call out, calling out the injustice of the U.S. in supporting the government during this tumultuous time, his assassins used this as an opportunity to send a message to his support us by killing him while he said mass at a small church while many theories abound and nothing was ever proven most believe he was killed by a sal salvadorian death squad but it been a mystery as we didn't know anything about it it's not been proved so number nine, Aluf Palme. Palme was uh, Sweden's prime minister from 1982 to 1986, who was shot and killed while walking home with his wife after a night at the movies. A vocal advocate of intense regulation and investigation of his country's nuclear energy program, especially after the incident at Three Mile island in 1979 he also pushed a number of other political hot topics while in office it may have been uh, his ideas concerning european security his push for economic reform of socialist nature or any other number of items in, on his political agenda no one has ever been charged with his murder, nor has anyone been able to pinpoint the motive behind the crime. Anyway, the number nine, eight, the boy in the box. In 1957, a large cardboard box was found along Susquehanna Road in Philadelphia. While unusual, such a find was not newsworthy it was what was discovered once the box was opened that set law enforcement officials hair on end and provoked intense public outrage inside the box was the nude body of a young while white male aged between four and six Further compli complicating the issue was the manner of in which the body was found. Horrific bruises showed signs of a brutal beating, but that was juxtaposed to Agnes the obvious tenderness someone showed in, carry, in caring for his uh, remains. He was clean and well kept and wrapped in a blanket in a manner that suggested great care after his death. Despite the public's cry for uh, justice and advancements in DNA testing as an investigative tool, the case remains unsolved to this day. Number 7. Jack the Str Stripper Jack the Stripper was a modern serial killer who, it is uh, suggested, modeled himself after the 
infamous Jack the Ripper. Targeting prostitutes, his body count quickly rose to six during a short span, 1964 to 1965. Other murderers, murders during that time were thought to be his in the work but could not be conclusively linked to the other cases with forensic evidence. The sudden end uh, to the killings left many to believe it was tied in with the abrupt suicide of a young man who died around the time period jog the stripper's reign ended. With little or no evidence at the crime scenes, this coincidence of timing and a cryptic message left to his family in his suicide note concerning his inability to take the stress any longer made him the lead suspect. No charges were ever filed. Number six, the Axeman of New Orleans. On May 23, 1918, a bloody and violent murder spree began in New Orleans. The bodies of Joseph Maggio and his wife were found in their apartment over their privately owned grocery store. While robbery was not a motive concluded by the investigating officers at the scene, a bloody axe left at the home and the brutal nature of the killings sent fear through many in this coastal town. The killer left a single cryptic clue written in chalk. The killer was fond of his weapon of choice and used it with great skills. To commit a second string of murders against another grocer and his common law wife, which also left little no or no evidence. All told, the axeman of New Orleans left eight dead before ending his killing spree. While the police had a strong suspect in the killings, the lack of scientific Advances in police investigation at the turn of the century left them unable to bring charges against anyone. Number 5 John Bennett Ramsey John Bennett Ramsey was a six-year-old girl found murdered in the basement of her parents' upscale home in Boulder, Colorado. Many in incongruities in the crime scene left investigation baffled, generating intense media scrutiny. scrutiny. Many believed the investigative officers focused on the wrong suspects, members of her own family. Number 4. Black Dahlia On January 15, 1947, police were called to investigate the rep Report of a woman body found in Limit Park in Los Angeles. What they found when they arrived sparked a fascination that continues to this day. The carefully mutilated body, or should I say body parts of Elizabeth Short were found laying out in the open in a most gruesome manner. The ritualistic nature of the disembodiment led to speculation of the manner in which the murder was carried out but did not lead to any solid suspects. Because of the sensational nature of the murder, the la uh, lap LAPD was indebted uh, with false confessions which also helped to further complicate the case and, uh, muddy, and invest uh, muddy the investigation. To date, uh, no motive or clear suspect has ever been found and no one has ever been charged. Number 3. Andrew and uh, Abby Borden Unlike most of the cases on this list, the murderers 
of Andrew and Abby Borden quickly brought forth a visible suspect and their daughter Lizzie, a large inheritance and suspicious behavior on her part in the days before the murder led many to believe she had motive and means to have killed them both. She attempted to buy prusic acid poison the day before the murders. While the crime was being investigated, it was found she burned a dress in the family wood, wood stove shortly after the murders. No conclusive weapon was found, though they did find an axe that would have created the type of wounds suffered by Lizzie's parents. Lizzie was actually brought to trial but was acquitted due to the lack of the firm evidence. Number two, the Jodia killer. The Jodia killer captured in captured the imagination of the American public during a particularly unsettled time. It was the summer of love, the beginning of a large and persistent protests of America's involvement in Vietnam and the beginnings of budding counterculture. It was in this environment of the public right to know that a prolific serial killer decided to play cat and mouse with the press concerning a number of unsolved murders. murders. His use of symbols, cryptic hints and a code that has yet, yet to be deciphered soon captured the public's fascination. Speculation was rife as to the identity of the Zodiac killer who with over 200, 2,000 leads investigated to no avail with seven known victims and numerous others suspected of dying at the, his hands, the Zodiac Killer has yet to be identified. The number one, the Jock the Ripper. I am sure it comes to the num one's surprise that the number one spot is reserved for the ever infamous Jock the Ripper during a short period of in 1988. Old Jock went about his business of targeting prostitutes by the most heinous methods of mutilation. The rumored surgical like skill the skill and speed with which the crimes were suspected to have been committed led to great speculation that the Ripper was a man of prominence and education that could that could slip in and out of anywhere without standing out. The notori notoriety of the crime and uh, the conspiracy theory surrounding it has led to a cult following of the case that is still heatedly debated to this day. No leading suspect or motive has ever been uncovered. So these are the top 10 unsolved murders happened in the history. These are still yet to be solved.